All right, so in example eight, it's another multi-step problem because I have two things outside four plus and seven times. So we have seven times this quantity of the absolute value and then four plus it. So in order to solve for the absolute value, okay, we need to actually get rid of everything outside, so the four and the seven. Easiest one is the 4, because it's not being multiplied, I get to minus it to both sides. So then I have 7 times the absolute value of 8x plus 3 equals 21. Now, I have 7 times the absolute value, so I need to divide by 7 to both sides. So we get the absolute value of 8x plus 3. So we don't confuse those, that is the absolute value equals 21 divided by 7 is 3. So now we get to go from there. We get to split it into two separate equations. So we're going to get 8x plus 3 equals 3 and 8x plus 3 equals negative 3. All right. Now we solve this one, the first one for x. So I'm going to minus 3, minus 3, so we get 8x equals 0. Divide by 8, and x equals 0. Let's take a look at the other one. We're going to minus 3 to both sides. I'm not going to get 0 this time, because these are both negative. So I get negative 6. Then we divide by 8, divide by 8. So x equals negative 6 over 8, which actually is going to need to be reduced to negative 3 over 4 which is fine, or we can say negative 0 0.75, okay? Either one of those is acceptable, okay, because this is at the nearest hundredth. We can't go anymore. It's 0 0.75, or we can just put in negative 3 over 4. So those are your answers, 0 and negative 3 over 4.